Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing some TikTok hacks for Bloxburg. So as you can see, quite a lot of people have posted their building hacks on TikTok. Now, I'm really not that good of a builder, so I thought it would be quite fun for me to try them out today. And by the way, I have chosen such a random selection. Like, these are the most random building hacks ever. So we're going to start off with the simpler ones, then we're going to move on to more and more crazy ones as we go along. So the first one is to make a working dispenser out of your fridge. So in this video, they have this $2,000 fridge and then they got a basic shape and I think it was this one. And then you've got to turn your grid onto small and then basically, oh no, that's transforming it. You've got to resize it all the way up here. And then supposedly you put like one of those drink dispensers in. So I don't actually know what it's called. Maybe it's in appliances actually. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, and then you put it like inside the fridge so obviously that's not inside yet but we'll put it in there and then like push this back so it's in there and then you like push it back a little bit oh <gasps> that looks so cool actually i think you're meant to put carpet on top first oh gosh i told you guys i'm bad at this because when you put things on carpet then it won't like delete afterwards what well, this is not working guys you know what? let's move the fridge out of the way now let's why is this not moving with it I'm so confused. I'm literally so confused. You guys are probably all laughing behind your screens right now. Like, this is so easy. Maybe if I do it like that, and then if I move the fridge forward. <gasps> guys, I did it. And then the best part about this hack is that you can actually interact with it. Look, you can actually take water. You can take an apple from your water dispenser, guys. Oh, wait, no, that's just the fridge. If you really, really get the exact spot, you can actually fill it up and you can get iced tea and stuff. How cool does that look with that little orange iced tea in there? And then whenever you want to, you can just go take iced tea and you've got a working fridge dispenser. Okay, so the next one is similar. And this one is to make a skateboard hang up on the wall. I do not know why you would need to do this, but I can't actually find the original video. So I'm just having to guess here. But I'm pretty sure they got a basic shape like this and then got a carpet. And maybe using a smaller carpet will work, like this one. I oh, don't even have a skateboard. Let me buy one. So she like put it here and then deleted this. Oh my gosh, it's floating. And then the last thing that she did was get a structural item. I think it was this one. Put it like that, guys. That looks so real. And as you can see, I've decorated it very well. Now this next one is for all you role players out there. You don't want to have too big of a house, but want to be able to have role plays. So you're going to want to get the bunk bed with the desk and just place that down like this. And then you're going to want to go into this section and get a crib. And then you can just place that. You might have to move it a little bit, but you can just place it inside. And just like that, if you colour it, you have a crib and a bed. So if you want to have somebody share a bedroom, then you can do this. And obviously you can decorate around this as well. So let's say the room was only about this big and you wouldn't have enough room for two beds, then this is just such an easy way to do it. And you can have like a wardrobe over here and a desk and still some room for toys and stuff. Now this next one is really simple, but I feel like it's kind of not that necessary after the cushion update came out. But you know, we're gonna do it anyway because it's a little bit of fun. So you're gonna get just a normal bed and then this sofa thing. Then you're gonna move the bed into it. And then just like that guys, you have an extra pillow on the bed. Now, if we actually go over to the bed, and you go to sit on this, you can actually now just sit up in your bed. How cool is that? Because you can only rest on the bed. You can't actually sit up on it. Now, this next one is actually pretty smart for winter. So basically, this is how to make a really cheap ice rink. Because actually, if you go into... Because actually, the ice rinks on their own, 7000 for a 3x3. Three three. We're going to build a 3x3 three three right now for probably under $1,000. So you're just going to place a floor down. Then you're going to place like a really nice colour, just like that. And you can actually colour it to look like ice and then you can actually put fences around it like this these ones probably look the best for an ice rink and then the way to make it actually functional is to get roller skates so this is actually a really smart idea for whoever made this so you're just going to put some of these out there and you guys let's go and try out our diy ice rink for one thousand dollars <laughs> this is so fun guys this is so worth it I think it actually is sort of like the same animation though for, for roller skating as it is for ice skating. So if you really do want a massive ice rink, then this is actually probably not a bad idea. Even though the ice skates work off the ice. Woo! Oh, and one more thing I actually forgot to add on this one is you can do string lights around the edge if you want. Put it right through the middle. And there we go. That'll make it look even nicer. But I'd say that is a successful one. 
Okay, so this next one is for all of you guys who love the beach. So what you're going to do is you're going to get two palm trees and place them like this. You're then going to go into comfort and get the hammock. And you're going to put it like this. Then you're just going to move the trees into place. And as you can see, you guys, you've got a working hammock. Now, there's actually a part two to this hack. So that is the most basic thing you can do. But if we move the hammock out of the way for a second and then get a basic shape and just make it a little bit bigger and a little bit higher up, then I'm sure you can all guess what we're going to do. We're going to use the carpet. Actually, let's see if you even need the carpet because I'm not convinced that you even need it. No, you don't. So you can actually not use the carpet, guys. And then as you can see, we have got ourselves a working hammock that is actually in the sky. So if we go over to it, then we can actually go and sit in it. And oh my gosh, we look so cool. Just on our vacation, you wouldn't know that it's winter from this view, would you? I would say that was successful. Okay, so this next one is basically how to get a tiny little chest of drawers on your chest of drawers, if that makes sense. Let me just show you. So, so this one's actually kind of expensive. You need this large mailbox, and then you're going to need a storage unit. And I think the one that's the right height is this one. Now, as you can see, this now looks like a little chest of drawers. So in the video, they decorated it so well. I do not have that talent. But if you colour it, then you've now got a little set of drawers on top of your set of drawers, which I just think looks really, really cool. And this is just a really small detail, but you could put it on like a desk next to a mirror or something. This is probably one of my favourite ones. Okay, you guys, so I have two left, but I just can't wait to show you guys the last one. But the second to last one, we actually need a crib again. So we're going to get this, and this is so simple. So you're just going to get a crib, and then you're going to go into the garden section and get this archway. And you might actually have to place this down first. And then you're going to put the crib inside the arch. Then you can colour it to make it match. And as you can see, that looks really, really nice. Of course, you can add some lights. So if you wanted to, you could add some lights around it like this. That is very, very bright. But that does actually look quite nice. Of course, you wouldn't add that many lights. But I'd say this has also been successful. Okay, guys, so I really have saved the best till last because we are going to be making these realistic plants. Look how cool they look. So... This one is actually quite complicated. So you've got to start off by making the vase. And the good thing about it being custom is you can make that look however you like. So I'm going to take inspiration from one of the ones in that video. So it had sort of like a flat base and then sort of just like a normal size on top. And you guys, I'm literally trying my hardest right now. And then they had a tiny flat bit on top. And so let's colour this. Okay, so we've coloured it. And now to do the actual plant, but you're going to place one of these transparent ones on top and you're gonna make it like as thin as you can. Then you go into decorations and look up painting, and you're gonna click the one that's two-sided, and you're gonna place that here. Now this one, you actually have to come out of build mode first, and then you're gonna have to pick the plant. So I assume you just have to look up plant and it will come up with some. Let's see if this one works. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that has not worked. Maybe this one will work. <gasps> oh my gosh, this one actually worked, guys. I know it's not the best, but I was trying for so long. So then you go over to this tube and normally it's bigger so it can cover up more, but you know, this is fine. And there you go, you guys. <laughs> this is my attempt at the plant building hack. Let's put it side by side to the proper one. As you can see, yeah, theirs is a lot better. But this was just a first attempt, so I'm pretty happy with it. So there we go, you guys. That was me testing some viral building hacks. I really hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one.